What's up guys, it's your boy Zion, and I'm bringing you another No Man's Sky video. In this one, I wanted to talk about some recent news that took place with No Man's Sky, or how the community has dubbed it No Man Lies. Because the developer lied all over the place when he was going ahead and hyping up the game, and it bolstered sales and pre-orders, and they made a shit ton of money and a shit ton of sales before anyone got their hands on the game to go ahead and tell everyone that it wasn't what everyone was expecting. So, what basically happened is a lot of places opened up the return policy. So, places such as Steam, Amazon, and a few other places opened up their return policy to allow you to go ahead and return video games. So, let's take Steam for example. Steam has a policy where you can buy a game and you can return it within 14 days of the original purchase and having only played up to two hours of the game because they think in two hours you know whether or not you're going to enjoy the game kicker people saw this and decided to return no man's sky the 60 dollars game that kind of disappointed many 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 people the problem with them returning this was they began scamming systems like Steam and Amazon to get full refunds. There were people who were returning No Man's Sky with a um, total playtime of like 70 or 80 hours. They, they definitely scammed the system and were not paying any attention to Steam's preset kind of rule. Because basically if you talk to someone and you basically mentioned that... The game was false advertising that it had claims that it couldn't live up to and especially with the PC version was a subpar product and you went ahead and mentioned that the gameplay was terrible the usability of it especially certain peoples where the game would crash was god-awful if you made claims like this they would basically make an exception and give you a refund to the point, so many people went ahead and scammed this that within a day, No Man's Sky's sales dropped by 20,000. So 20,000 people returned this game in the point between two days. Like a single 24 hour period went by and 20,000 people managed to get their money back. Whether or not you played the game for two hours or 80 hours. Which raises the question, is this right? Is this a scam? Were people entitled to their money back? Um, I say no. I can completely understand if you were within the, the guidelines where you played a couple hours. I could see up to 10 hours, especially with this game, especially if you stayed on your home planet. I could see up to 10 hours of being able to get your money back. But then it also falls into where do we place video games? Are they like entertainment? You're not going to rent a movie and then go ahead and watch the entirety of the movie and try to return it. That That's not something that you can do. That's not how the system works. You can't go ahead and return entertainment. You can't go to a show for a entertainer like a comedian be like, oh, I saw your entire show. I got some chuckles, but it wasn't for me. So can I please have the money I paid for the ticket back? That's not how the world works. And if we group video games into entertainment, then I can completely see how this would be wrong. However, if we group a video game into a consumer product, something that we have every right to go ahead and return, it, it goes ahead and gives people the idea that returning is okay. And believe me, I can completely understand. I'm on the side of everyone being able to return games in a reasonable amount of time. If you played 80 hours of the game, you knew damn well what you were doing. You weren't sitting here going, oh, I just kind of realized that the game isn't for me. You were like, oh, I've played this game to the extent that I want to. Now I kind of want my money back to go buy something else. That's not how the world works. Like that's just scamming people. And literally people made guides on how to do this, exactly what to say in your claim to Amazon or Steam to go ahead and get your money back for them to make a one-time exception. And this became so rampant to the point that Steam updated its return policy on the No Man's Sky page. They went ahead and said they would not be issuing any exceptions to the No Man's Sky return policy. If you were outside of the 14-day, 2-hour 
playtime window, you're kind of fucked. Like, it, it's that bad. And I want to see where you guys stand on this. For me, I think it just became more of a scam. People didn't enjoy the game, and after being screwed out of $60, wanted their money back. However, they went about it the wrong way, and instead of going ahead and learning that basically your dollar controls what the market does. So if you don't pre-order the game and wait to see how the game actually is on launch, then the, the producers or game designers have to go ahead and actually deliver a quality product that people are going to continue playing after launch and that they have to worry will go ahead and get good reviews once it actually does launch. So it just brings up the point of we need to stop pre-orders and gamers have to stop falling into this whole if I pre-order I get special extra bonuses that I'll never ever get in any other way and oh my god I need to pre-order it because games like No Man's Sky happen. But on the other hand you can't just scam people out of your money you can't scam like companies out of your money out of their money because you're unhappy with a product someone else made so it, it goes both ways let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like a comment a favorite and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys later peace